All right, so there is a door cam video from the recent incident with Richard Sherman and where the media is trying to portray him as some domestic violence uh, case and being um, a person that tried to rob a family by breaking in their home. So this happens to be the in-laws of his wife. And it looked like he showed up there probably intoxicated, being over aggressive, but to fight her father or whatnot. Not to threaten her, it didn't seem like, but to go over and fight her father. Who knows, there may be issues between in their marriage, but he went over there to address it. But for the me white media to sit there and portray this guy as some threat, because we always remember the little blonde head bimbo, uh, I think her name was Aaron Andrews or some crap, when he come walking up and she acted as if some big threatening black guy showed up behind her. ESPN never addressed that. But this same network that wants to pick up this and other media networks, but they want to ignore the real domestic violence predator a foreigner who they allow and praise in this country and a former box well he's still a current boxer and uh sergey kovalev who was attempted to rape a woman punching this woman in her face kicking her dog and then having an incident right after that of sexually harassing a woman on board of an airplane so let's keep shit balanced if that's the way you want to put it but uh, listen, and the other issue is the dispatcher in this call. Look at the lack of care and urgency from this dispatcher. This is the problem. Get these little pale, pale head, blonde wig, wig whores the hell up out of these departments and these agencies of safety in this country. But listen to this and this woman's lack of concern. But peep it. 911, what are you reporting? Um, I, I I need I need officers to my house now. My husband is drunk and blue. What is the stop? Stop. stop. Um, What's the address? Are there any weapons? Stop. We, are there we any took we took no. There's no gun. I'm I'm saying there are no weapons, ma'am. There are you no, there are no weapons. You need to stop interrupting me so I can get the information I need to get officers. Expert. I need officers here now. What's he doing that, that you think he's going to harm he's, himself? He's being, he's, he's being aggressive. He has sent text messages. I took, the, I took the keys out. They're in your car. He's trying to leave now in the house. He's being aggressive. He's wrestling with my uncle. He's threatening to kill himself. He has sent text messages to people saying he's going to hang himself. He, and he's saying that if the police show up, that so please don't shoot is what I'm asking. Okay, wait. Say that again. He, has no he says if the he police has, show he up. He what? said if the police show up, that he'll try to fight them. So they okay. need to understand that he is. He is. Okay. Is it been physical with anybody there? You said he's trying to fight yes, your uncle. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. How has it been physical? He just tried to fight him. Okay, trying to fight somebody and actually being yes, physical. Yes, he did. He did. All the way How has it her. been physical? <laughs> He's it's, a, it's a 2016 black Mercedes. Richard, please stop. Richard, please stop. Please stop. Is that a sedan SUV? It's, a, it's just a black sedan Mercedes SUV. Okay. He's not going to be able to get out the gate. I cut it off. What do you mean you cut it off? I cut the gate. We live behind it. It's, a, it's Richard Sherman. Like, ma'am, this is like a f emergency. I need officers hey, here now. Hey, to me. I'm handling this. You need to stop telling me that. Okay, but what I'm not going to slow help down. He got out. He got out me is not going to slow help down. Okay, well, what I need to know is that he What's your not, name? My name is Ashley Sherman. Do you know what his date of birth is? 3.38.88. Okay, hey, slow down so I can understand you. What's the date of birth? March 30th, 1988. Does anybody need an ambulance there? You said it was physical. No, we don't okay. need an ambulance. Okay. And he does not have any weapons or access to weapons? No. No. Okay, and how much has he had to drink tonight? Two bottles. Two bottles of what? Now, a vodka now, and Hennessy. Okay, hard alcohol. It's alcohol. Okay. He's intoxicated. Okay, sir. I only going to talk to one person, so please put the phone down well, and look, talk look, to Ashley. Look, okay, is, is, is the sheriff it, on the way? Okay, l listen, I, it's over on dispatch, okay? Talking to me is not going to slow anything else down. I think they may want to consider getting rid of that 911 dispatcher. She's not fit for that job. She doesn't serve, show any level of concern or urgency with any of that. And she almost seemed like she's trying to set up a situation of creating the scenario to where Sherman was a, uh, a dangerous threat to his family and the possible use of force being taken out there. And it was 
cool that the wife highlighted that he wasn't armed. So she showed concern for her husband. But uh, that's all I got. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.